Alright, so I'm gonna show you how to install, uh, how to delete, move, slash, copy uh, channels to your SD card of the system. So, first up, what I do is get this new game thing out of my way. Alright, go to this thing in the bottom left corner. Channel. And then click, actually click on Dan Management if you want to see what it would be. And then click on Channels. You should see some of the people who are like, Channel Reviews. I have some custom ones. So, make sure that you have some custom ones inside. It might take a lot of time handing up the size of it how much stuff you already have it. You see I already have two of the other games. Now I doubt it. What I'm gonna do is click on one of them. Click on the one that you want to copy. Click on the one that you want to copy. So I'm gonna click on this one. This is the thing that this is the tabs, this is the amount of space you have, blocks free. Then click on now, we're going to see copy. So click on copy. Click on yes if you want to copy or no if you don't. Now this process will really take a long time to get inside of the game. Now there's 16 new classes before the Yeah. Now copying with the data. That is crap so loud. Not copying data. That is crap so loud. I hate it. Now we're going to... There's no shit out of the way here. Alright, it's finally done. Now I'm talking. Now I'm talking about moving it. So click on the one, click on move, and it already exists on the SD card. Never mind. Let's talk about erasing, deleting the data. So, focus out. Keep using the one my way. Alright, so what you want to do is click on the game, and you want to delete and click the erase button this time. And click on yes. Let's say erasing, this shouldn't take too long. And it has been erased. So now we're gonna see about moving it. So click on so click on the game you want to move and click on move. And then click on yes. And this will take some time. Depending on how big the game is. So here we go. Fast forward. By the way, I'm going to three of these games. Metro Flux, Metro Play, Metro Club, all of them. Anyways, fast forward. Wait, no, they deleted them. Alright, we're finally done with doing that. So now we can make sure that copy built to the SD card. And let's just do that. And click on back, back, three times more if you're on the original Wii. Now to access all that content, you should, not that, now to access all the content we just copied, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> You don't see them anymore on this on the main Wii menu. Those are like channels you do copy. So in order to access them, click on this icon right here. It should say SD card menu. Well, hold right now. Okay, anyway, it should say SD card. Huh. 
Click on it. Actually, so loading from the SD card. Might take some time. Of course. And there we go. You know, the banners aren't available, so if I click on them, it really does that. You can still see the icons, the animation, all that stuff. So let me just show you that actually works. So let's go to or click on start. It should take one second, take a minute. Blow. There it is. So loud. Well, and here you can't see the bottom because yeah. I mean, we just got all this sharp stuff. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna put saving. Oh, I can't. Oh, it's junk. I'm gonna show you how it's all set here, and we'll see that after. Alright, so now I'm gonna show you how to install Modlines. So open the home view channel. You must have and okay, so now go to the home view browser, label it to that description. Seems to be pretty good crap. But now it's just homework itself. Alright, so now you can go to utilities. The first part of this tutorial is basically just me stuff built in. Let's go down until uh, until you see we mod light. Now click on that and click download. It will now download it and extract it. And once that's done, press the home button and click on return the loader. Now you should be back here. Now you should see a new icon that says We Mod Light. Click on that, click on load. So now say apply patches, please wait. Now you should get to this screen, so press D-pad down, press, press D-pad down once, and then A, and then A again, and then go into, and then select the lot file, you can use the D-pad to scroll up again. I have a bunch of WeFlow floor orders, one of them I actually installed, so now let's install one of these here. So let's install Cave Story, and just press A on the lot file once you selected it, and press A again, that's all. Just press right to kind of screen and press that one to uh, install mod. Now basically start to install all of the mod content. So here came from Famous Lake, which is great. Yeah, now it probably will take long, depending on the, uh, whatever. So now we're going to press, uh, the 2 button on your Lumo. This is optional if you want to delete it. So the 2 button on your Lumo. Try to get this, and make sure you select the mod you want to download. And then press A again. Now it's deleted because we don't need it. And now press the home button. Yeah, this home button right here. Now so press the home button again and click on exit the system menu. And we should just go back to the Wii menu. Now, you will notice something a bit different. The game you just installed is actually just right there on the Wii menu. Click on it. And there it is. Part of the forwarder that I installed. I'll leave a link in the description for this forwarder. Alright, cool. I'm gonna show you another thing. I'm sure you can see that. But anyways, that's how you do everything. So, bye.